साउंड प्लीज पुट ऑफ योर माइक्रोफोन और म्यूट म्यूट योर माइक्रोफोन प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक्रोफोन ओके प्रिय बंधुरा आज के आरोपी अनुष्ठान स्वागत उद्यापन कर क्लाब घोषित आंतर्जा लेखक दिवस एवं दिवस टी पालित होचार एवं एसोसिएशन वर्ल्ड रईटार्स पक्ष दि आर्चर पत्रिका एवं आंतजात लेखक संगठन एसोसिएशन अफ वर्ल्ड रईटार्स तर पक्ष आयोजन हज के आयोजन आज के संगे उन्नीस जन विदेशी कवि आवं ता शांति कविता पढ़वें और से कवित शांति सम्पर्कित तो अपनारा देखते कैक जन कवि उपस्थित आज के प्राय उन्नीस जन कवि एखे उपस्थित हबें षोलोटी देश तो एके तक के आहवान जान कवित पढ़ते अपना निश्चय से ही कवितागलीभोग कर आशा करी कवितागल ता पढ़व इंगरेजीते चेष्टा करब कि कवितागल जत बुझे अपन संगे शेयर करते अपना निश्चय से ही कवितागल खूब भलो भाव अनुधावन करते पढ़ार मध्य दिए तो एक्टू बोली आंतजात लेखक दिवस ये दिवस उद्देश्य हे सारा पृथ्वी ये दिवस टीके छड़िए देखा लेखक मध्य एवं लेखक के एक सेतुबंधन एक सूत्रे एक सूत्रे गेथे विभिन्न विषय विशेषकर शांति सपक्षे ता जाते तरह कथागुली बोलें शांति सम्पर्के ता जाते तर कण्ठ समुच्चारित रखें से अनुष्ठान से लेखक दिवस उद्यापन तो ये लेखक दिवस टी आसले गत एक डिसेम्बर प्रति बस बचर एक डिसेम्बर ही पालित है क्योंकि एबार ओ दिन अनुष्ठान करते चेल विदेशी कवि संगे संयुक्त हुए क्योंकि नेटवर्क कारण से अनुष्ठान करा जाए सेजे विलम्बे गतकाल प्रथम अनुष्ठान करेंगे तेर जन कवि आज के द्वित अनुष्ठान आज के उपस्थित आज उन्नीस जन कवि तो कवि कथागुल एक नामगुल एक अपना प्रथम नाम जेमन रिका इनामी जपान जुक्त हबें आलिज आलिज कुब्रेसका हबें पोलैंड लरेंट क्रिसन जुक्त हबें फ्रांस ग्लोरियाना भिवर जुक्त हम स्लोनिया शांति हंड्रुज हिल ग्रीस इसिलदा नूनेस पर्तुगाल अलभारो माइ पर्तुगाल अगस्त एनरिके रुफिनो आर्जेंटिना भेरोनिका वालादेस मेक्सिको लुडिया लिडिया चियारेलि इटाली थे उन्नी भिडियोर माध्यम जुक्त हबें तपर जुक्त हबें मेईद कर्बिक बसनिया और हार्जोगना डुमारिस आगुला जुक्त हबें किूबा थे इगर लेजोनस्के जुक्त हबें नर्थ मैसेडोनिया गार्लिंडे स्टैफलर जुक्त हबें इटाली थे ग्लोरिया सोफिया जुक्त हबें केवार्दे नेदारलैंड ब्रुनहिल्डे रोमान इवानेज जुक्त हबें स्पेन सूचिस्मिता घोषाल भारत 
ভেরোনিকা পিঙ্গল তিনি যুক্ত হবেন ফিলিপিন থেকে থাকেন হংকং এ তো এই যে উনিশ জন কবি তারা আজকে কবিতা পড়বেন আমরা আসুন সেই অনুষ্ঠানটা শুরু করি তাদের কবিতা শুনি এবং আপনাদের কোনো মতামত থাকলে অনুগ্রহ করে আমাদের এখানে কমেন্ট করবেন আমরা তাই নিয়ে ওদের সঙ্গে আলোচনা করব বিশেষ করে আমি যেটা চাইছি সেটা হলো যে আপনারা এই যে শান্তি স্থাপনের কথা কবিরা বলছেন বা তাদের তারা যে কবিতা পড়বেন সেই সম্পর্কে আপনাদের যদি কোনো মতামত থাকে সেই মতামত অনুগ্রহ করে জানাবেন যে লেখকরা সারা পৃথিবী জুড়ে যে সংঘাত চলছে যে আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি যুদ্ধাবস্থা পৃথিবীর একটা অংশে এখন খুব বেশি মাত্রায় আমরা লক্ষ্য করছি তার মধ্য দিয়ে লেখকদের ভূমিকা কি হতে পারে সেই সম্পর্কে আপনারা আপনাদের মতামত জানাতে পারেন এবং আমরা তাই নিয়ে কথা বলবো তা আমি প্রথমে যেতে চাই রিকা আই ক্যান নট সি ইউ দুড ইউ প্লিজ সিট ইন দা মিডল side. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Good. Can you see me? Yeah. Not good. Uh, it is very important because the viewers will see you. So, Abhi Prathame, Japanese ko bhi Rika Rika puru naam ho chhe Rika Inami. E tini Japanese ko bhi Abhi Tar Pori Chhe Tek Tu Boli Tar Pori Tini Jee Kobita Ti Pori Ben Shet Aapne Shun Ben Tini Uh, Rika Inami graduated from first Department of Literature, Waseda University, and is a member of uh, Tanaka Association, Mirai, and other organizations. Uh, she is involved with other organizations, literary organizations. She mainly composes Tanaka poetry. She has written uh, it, uh, it uh, for 20 years. She has been, in fact, writing this uh, Tanaka poetry for last 20 years and the subject of her poetry is primarily is nature nature where yes. she lives in fact nature of akita she writes poetry on nature of akita and she lives there akita is a place where she is living now for about for about 10 years she has been writing tanaka in japanese english languages That means uh, bilingual, she is a bilingual poet, in fact. Sometimes uh, she writes in Japanese and translated uh, it um, into English. Uh, sometimes uh, she does, writes in uh, Japanese and translates into English. Or sometimes she writes in English and translates into Japanese. So, so I'm just uh, inviting him to read her Tanaka poetry. এবং আমি এবার একটু বাংলাতে বলি সেটা হলো তানাকা রিকা জাপানের কবি এবং তিনি ওয়াসেদা ইউনিভার্সিটি থেকে সাহিত্যে গ্রাজুয়েট হয়েছেন এবং তিনি আন্তর্জাতিক এবং জাপানের বেশ কিছু প্রতিষ্ঠানের সঙ্গে যুক্ত সাধারণত তিনি যে কবিতা লেখেন সেই কবিতাকে বলা হয় তানাকা কবিতা তার তাকে জাপানিরা বলে তানাকা যেমন হাইকু যেমন আছে জাপানি ভাষায় অথবা ওই উভয় ভাষাতেই অনুদিত হয়ে অনুদিত কবিতা তিনি লিখে চলেছেন নিজেই অনুবাদ করেন তো আমরা এখন তার কবিতা শুনব সো নাও উই আর গোয়িং টু হিয়ার poetry of uh, Rika and she will read her poem. Rika, uh, I am inviting you. Please Thank you. read your poem. Thank you, Thank you very much. I feel happy. <laughs> I 
Mm. Yeah, it's okay now. You read. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah. I, yeah. So my tankers, uh, my tankers are on Ajita International Cycle Network. So I would share the screen. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> not that uh, the camera to use. Mm, not good, yes. So I will read my counter. First one, top right, descending Either from one. around. Hi. Okay. I start up. Yeah, yes. Yeah, first one, top right, descending from around. Clouds moving in and out. Gold spreads out. Next. Pressing going round, being given us in town. Today on field, the sparkling light of Yeah, my poems are very short, but uh, they are longer than haiku. And about the first one, and then my friend analyzed it. My, my friend analyzed the one. P1 crowd, R1 gold world. P2 top right, R2 moving in and right. P3 gold spring spreading up. A, And next, please I'll see chat box. A T and R are the symbols. T1, T2, R1, R3 are topics. T3 and R3 are direct contrasts. R7. And next uh, poem, I com I wrote it uh, in May last May. And when I I love walking in peace. Walking makes me peace and uh, inspiration. Uh, Inspiration is giving me. Uh, that way I compose Tanka, my poem, while walking. 
and in peace. It's peaceful time. And I live in a rural area in Akita, Japan. So when I had the tema, the theme of the, this festival, I, those two pieces coming up to me. How is it? <laughs> How's there? Okay. Uh, well, uh, well, thank you very much, Rika. Thank you. So, yes. <laughs> um, I'm very... Yeah. Will you read more poem? Okay, um, thank you very much, Rika. Yes. So, yes. we are going to the, our okay. next point. Uh, we are going to our next poet, and uh, uh, she uh, will be, our next poet is Alicer Maria Kubreska from Poland. So, Kubreska? Yes, I am. Are you ready to read your poem? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, before I that, want I want to introduce you to our viewers. <laughs> yes. I'm introducing I'm... first uh, to our viewer, introducing you. Mm -hmm. I would like to read a, um, uh, so a poem. Kubreska, and... uh, wait, wait, I want to introduce you. Okay, I wait. I'm introducing you to our viewers first, then you will read. So Alicia is, a, is an award-winning Polish poetess novelist, journalist, and editor, translator. She edited volumes of anthologies, both in Polish and in English. Her poems have been published in numerous anthologies and magazines in Poland, Czechoslovakia, uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia, the UK, Belgium, Bulgaria, Hungary, Albania, in, in different languages, and also in Bangla. Alicja Kubreska is a member of uh, the Polish Writers Association in Warsaw and IWA Bogdani, Albania. She is also a member of Directors Board of Sofle Literature Foundation, Pakistan, Our Poetry Archive, India. She is the cultural ambassador of the Inner Child Press, USA. So Alija, in fact, is a very prominent poet, a prominent poetess uh, from Poland. And, and uh, she came several times before to my programs. And today she is going to read a poem on peace. The name of her poem or the title is Poem for Peace. Poem for Fe Peace. Alicia is going to read. Alicia, please read your poem. Thank you, Masud, for your kind invitation. I will read my short poem. <laughs> a poem for peace. I will build a bridge made of sentences, and I will fasten it with positive thoughts. I will use the words warmth and understanding. Later, I will add my mother's prayers. I will replace the lies of war's propaganda with stanzas about friendship and love. Next, I will paint the positive words, kindness and tolerance. Strangers will be connected firmly with reefs of powerful emotions. A poem for peace stronger than steel is free and immortal. Thank you. <laughs> and I would like to tell that that we are very close to war because we have war um, just... Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, and uh, I was working as volunteer helping people from Ukraine and I was very close to these people and I could talk with them to see them and to see all the disaster which is made by war. So I'm against uh, wars, they are senseless and they have never bring uh, nothing positive. 
it's my opinion. And I am also a pity of Russian people who are involved in this war because of propaganda and their politicians, because they are, they are suffering too. Many people are killed and they are later disabled. So it's a tragedy of both nations, I think so. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm fighting for peace. It's not my first uh, point. So, uh, you are... Yes. I would like to tell that yeah, peace tell, tell is us. very tell important for, for everybody. Mm -hmm. And we should, as, uh, as poets, as writers, we should uh, okay, uh, fight uh, against propagandas. Mm -hmm. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's okay. I mean, my daughter, I'm going to keep bully. Uh, Alice Kubrinska, Poland, region, Prokhetu Kobi, Tini, Besh Kichu, Jati Prushka Petsen, Andrujati Prushka Petsen, Shanti Juni Jacobitini Poland, A Shanti Jacobitini Poland, Shakovita Bairo, Bektiko the Jimoni, Tinikin to Ajon Jute. Action volunteer, but she has a lot of people who are in Ukraine, Ebong Russia, and Ukraine. Ukraine থেকে যে সমস্ত Poland, Poland, আসছে একটা বড় অংশ কিন্তু Poland, Poland, নিয়েছে একটা খুবই বড় অংশ Poland, Poland, নিয়েছে Poland, যেতে পারে যে Poland, 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 থেকে Poland, Poland, নিয়েছে এবং তাদের Poland, কাজ করছেন একজন হিসেবে কাজে ব্যক্তিগত জীবনে তিনি যেমন কবিতা লিখছেন কবি তেমনি আবার যুদ্ধক্ষেত্রে কাজ করছেন এই শান্তির জন্য এই উদ্বাস্তুদের সহায়তা করছেন তাদের জন্য কাজ করছেন তো সেই কারণে আমরা ইয়েকে কুপ্রেসকাকে একটা হাততালি দেই let her clap because <laughs> Thank she you. works for she works for the refugees coming from from the ukraine and that is really Amazing. That's true. Okay. So next, uh, I'm going to our um, going to our po uh, another poet, uh, uh, and uh, he is uh, Laurent Grison. Laurent Grison from France, and uh, he is an art historian and critic. He has published many books and contributes to several magazine contributed to several magazines passionate and also art forms he is an artist too so boli apnader ke laurent grison grison hocchen france er kobi kintu tini shudhu kobi non tini pradhanoto ekjon shilpo oitihashik orthat art historian art historian, art historian shilper oitihashik Shilpo Itihashi came an Aki Shongi Shongitini Shamalachok, Shilpo Shamalachok. Our Tini Beskitu boy Prokashkuritsen, Bivin no magazine at Kobita Prokashi the Hurtse, our Arikti paper who grew to Puno, Tini Jetu, Agent Shilpio, Sheikarone, Tar Shilpo Kormo, Bivin no Potributica Prokashi the Hoi, Bektigot of Habe, Tini, a Shilpo Kormet Shange, Gobir Babijuri at him. So, A. Kobi, or that Lauren Grison, Laurent Grison, Akon Kobita Purben, Ebong Shay Kobita Pin Namotin, never forget. The Laurent Grison is from France, I have already told you, and uh, he will read a poem titled Never Forget. So, let us listen to his poem, Never Forget. Okay, Grison, please read your poem. Thank you. Um, I would like just, first of all, thank you very, very um, uh, my friend Masoud Usanam and Anna Maria, Anna Maria too, for uh, <laughs> what she's done today. And all my friends, poets of, from abroad, of course. Um, I think that poetry is uh, the universal language we all share. And as a paradox, I should say that the only weapons of peace our words, our words. And uh, the first, um, the, the poem I'm going to read is that one, as uh, Masoud said, 
is that never forget. You dread to forget faces and bodies, those of the disappeared that haunt your memory. In the shadow of time, the suspended words do not cross the walls of your mind. When you break the silence in sharp chunks, you hear a noise low and melancholic, a restrained cry which scatters like a star from your chest up to your skull. Groan of the past, faint trace of despair which will never destroy the signs of peace. Okay, thank you very much, Christian. You have heard, heard uh, his uh, point. I said, Alicia, in Europe at the moment we have um, a very, uh, a very strong war uh, in Ukraine, and uh, um, as a matter of fact, I've been five times in Ukraine before the war. So I know Kiev and all the those uh, those uh, country, the, those cities of uh, Ukraine, and um, which are bombed to, to today. So um, it's very impressive for, for for me as a poet and. Um, uh, Masood, I must thank you again because you, you do uh, you, you you do very very important work uh, job as um, an organizer and as a poet too because we all share as I said the the poetry as as you know the the only um, uh, wall against war and th this is what we could do you know you, we just have words and um, it's very important to do what we do so poems and and share of course. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Laurent. Thank you, Laurent. In fact, uh, you know that uh, the poet, uh, what can do uh, they do? Once, you know, the Sartre, uh, the French philosopher and writer, uh, uh, he told that we can uh, talk about peace and maybe there will be no peace in the world, never. It would mm -hmm. not be like us, what we want, that kind of peace may not be uh, we have, but we must talk for peace. That is very important. We sure, must right. raise your voice, raise our voice all the time for mm -hmm. peace. And yeah. poets are uh, for humanity, uh, for uh, dignity, and for the well-being of a uh, human being. We work, we think. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I, I organize that... this program for mm -hmm. peace. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll just, we are raising our voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure. Uh, Kubesko, yeah, will you like to say anything? Yeah. I yes. wanted to say that we as writers have a big influence. It seems that uh, we can't we can't fight with words. We can. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, my guru is Mahatma Gandhi. He changed India without weapon, thanks to his thoughts and words. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And even our great leader uh, from Bangladesh, uh, we got the independence uh, for his efforts, for he struggled for about 25 years, uh, but uh, he struggled with non-violent uh, movement, it was. Uh, he just fought against the Pakistan army or the Pakistani regime, and we got the independence because of his movement. He was a very vocal, advocate uh, vocal uh, for he was very vocal for peace mm. and uh, he was the member of also the bangladesh was the member of the non-aligned movement mm. so mm. you know that uh, we also struggled for peace for a long mm. time mm. Mm. and we got the independence after that mm. well mm, now i will go to mm, our next poet i i'm not getting Okay, uh, let I am inviting Hondru um, oh, Hill, Santi Hondru Hill from Greece. Uh, are you ready? Yes. Hello, everyone. Good, good evening. Okay. Good afternoon. 
Uh, I'd like to say as, as a, a pre-course that in Greece we say that the poet has a responsibility to speak up for peace. And uh, me, um, yeah. I have to say that uh, okay. I don't, uh, I don't um, uh, distinguish between uh, bombs who have rights and bombs who, has, who have wrongs. If there are bombs talking, both are wrong. So this is my... Uh, uh, my position, I'm a little bit yeah, between that. Yeah. So my poem, which I will read today, is okay. called Seeds of Okay, Peace. okay, let, let, me, let me introduce you. Yes. Okay, Santi, just a minute. Let me introduce you to our viewers. Yes, first. Please. I'm introducing you to our viewers. And uh, Santi Hundru Hill, she is from Greece. And uh, she studied German and English literature, linguistics, journalism, and public relations management in Germany. She, were, she has worked as public relations manager at the Greek consulate in Stuttgart. As teacher for German, Greek and English and is translating poetry from, uh, for, from and to all three languages. She is an award-winning Greek poetess who gained international recognition. She is writing poetry since high school and in fact, the, from the early years of her life. And uh, she is at the moment, she, she also got uh, a prize, um, uh, Gandhian Global Harmony Association from uh, Gandhian Global Harmony Association, she got a prize. And also her poems have been translated into many languages. And she got also some awards from China, Ukraine, Philippines, Ecuador. Okay, now I'm just uh, inviting uh, Santi. And you know that the meaning of Santi means uh, shant, uh, peace. In Bangla, we, we say Shanti. and English, we say peace. So it is, in fact, the synonym of peace, Shanti, Shanti. So, well, uh, now I'm just communicating with my viewers in Bangla and just introducing uh, you uh, to them. So, Shanti, what is the name of Shanti? Shanti, Shanti, on Drew Hill. Then, Grisel Kobi, German Basha, even English Basha, then, Porosana Kuratsen, Basha Totte Puratsen, Shangbadi Kota Porosana Kuratsen, even public relation management to the Porosana Kuratsen, Germany, the Imur, the Germany, the Achen, even Germany, the Thakchen. Then, Greek consulate, Stuttgart, Greek consulate, she consulate a catch Then he akishonge, German, Basha Shikok, Greek Basha Shikok, even English Basha Shikok, Tini Unubadu Korin, Kobita, even eighteen Basha the Unubad Korin, our Greece take your Beskitu, Pushkatini Pachin, Anturjadi Beskitu, Pushkatini Pachin. To Tarkovita Konam Shunbo, Tini Jacobita Portman, she Kobita Tinam Hutche, Seeds of Peace. Seeds of peace, or that Shantir beach, Judy Amra Bully. Shantir bees, Namitini Kobi the So I'm going to Santi. Would you please read your poem now, Santi? Yes. Uh, I, have, I have to add to the uh, little note, the little bio note that I've just been um, named uh, Poetess of the Year of 2022 in China. So I think this is uh, uh, quite a big achievement. and. I would like to mention that yeah, to it's a honor great achievement. the yes. people Congratulations. actually from uh, from China who have avoided me with that. So my thanks out to that. Seeds of Peace. In the ceasefires, I plant at the four corners of the horizon where the blood of my brothers blackens in the sun, seeds of peace. In the ceasefires, I light candles to light the paths of the spirit traced and lived by Gandhi. In the ceasefires, I open the door to strangers to come and share bread, water, roses. In the ceasefires, I build with my hands the dreams of children of the whole world. In the ceasefires, Fires, I touch the hearts of those around me to erase the pain of the past, to join together, to become 
a circle to become dance, joy, song. In the ceasefires, I plant the seeds of my lyrics to speak in the tongues of the world to become an eternal hymn to peace. If you want, I could read it in Greek, but I don't have to. It's up to okay. you. Uh, it's okay. Uh, no need to read in uh, Greek uh, because uh, I need to explain a little bit about your poem to our Bengali viewers. Uh, so uh, I will uh, just... Uh, तो जेटा बोल चुके हैं जो शांति जी कविता टी पढ़ लेना आपने सुने थे कविता टी लेखा हुआ थे जो नामी कविता टी आपने सुन लेन शेटी होते सीड्स अपीस ऐटा आमी आगे बोले थे कविता टी नाम होते हैं जो शांति बीज बीज नामी कविता लिख चुके एवं तीन शुरू कर चुके ऐ भावे कविता टी जो युद्ध विरोधी कथा बोले शुर corners of the horizon where the blood of my brothers blackens in the sun seeds a piece khud chamatkar ekti chitra golpo diye shuru korchen tini bolchen je juddho biruti hoyeche ebong sei juddho birutir shomoy ami ekti gach ba brikkho ropon korchi je shekhane amar bhaier rakto diye toiri jeno माटी माटी तो जिन्हों रखते एकदम भूरे गए थे आमर भाईर रखते कालो हुए आ चे कृष्ण बर्न हुए आ चे एवं शेखर नहीं आमी बुंचे शांति बीज और तो जे माटी ते भाईर रखता तो शरीरे अंशो रोए थे एवं जे माटी कालो हुए गए थे भाईर रखते शे ही माटी ते इतनी शांति बीज रपुन करते चाइचन एवं बोल चं जे जुद्ध बिरुद्धी हो जुद्ध बिरुद्धी शो है अमित कोट कोटे चाहे तब पढ़े अब अब आरु बोल चं जे अमी एक चा मुंबई किचु मुंबई जाला लम एवं शे ही आलो मुंबई रालो आमदर के पौध देखा बे एवं जे पौध है एक दिन आमदर देखे ची गांधी के इर पढ़े आरु बोल चं जे की भावे रूटी पानी गुलाब फूल ये गुलो एवं शिशु देर जे शपनो, शे शपनो जन शारा पृथ्वी ते प्रतिष्ठित होए, शारा पृथ्वी ते जनो शांति विराज करे, सिस्फायर अथवा युद्ध विरुद्ध जनो होए, युद्ध विरुद्ध जन अम्म देखते पड़े, ते ये भावी को भी तेरे निर्माण करे थे, ना अपना लोको कोण जे शेष दिके चौंध कर दुसरो पंक्तियाँ थे, शेखने तेर अर्थात ये जो सिस्फायर मध्य, ये युद्ध विरुद्ध मध्य, आमी आमार कोबिता बीज भूने दिते चाहे, एवं आमार जीवाय एमोन शब्द उत्थित हो, जो शारा पृथ्वी ते ही जानो, आमार जीवाय एमोन धोनी उठूँ, आमार जीवाय बा आमार कथाय एमोन शूर उठूँ, जो शारा पृथ्वी ते शांति स्थापित हो बे, even for peace, � कथा तीनी बोलते हैं इनको बिता शेष दिखे तो कोई चौंकर टिक बिता चित्रकाल पाव अच्छे भावनार को विरोधा अच्छे एवं एक धरने एपिल जेटा बोली हमने आवेदन अच्छे बिता टर शांति इस शपक है तो थैंक यू वेरी मच शांति फॉर योर वंडरफुल पोइम यू रेड एंड वी हैव हार्ड यू हैव जस्ट वांटेड so next, I'm going to another poet. Uh, it's still the Nunes. The Nunes is uh, really a wonderful poet from Portugal. And uh, she writes uh, poetry. And at the same time, she's an artist who has been awarded with more than a hundred prizes and recognitions. She has a honorary doctorate in philosophy, letters, arts, and in an honorary doctorate in literature from the IADO and affiliated universities uh, and affiliated universities of Peru, Haiti, and the Philippines. That means she has been honored from uh, for her works, and she writes uh, poetry in Portuguese language, but she is also an artist. 
Her poems have been published in anthologies, many anthologies, magazines, and newspapers. And uh, he ha she has uh, been translated. Her poems have been translated uh, in 50 countries. And also, uh, it has been translated into many languages, 40, more than 40 languages. She is the coordinator of some six of poetry and prose, numerous national and international cultural, literary, and solidarity events in her country and abroad. She is a part of the board of directors of several cultural, both nationally and internationally. And among other positions, she is founder of Association of the World Union of Writers and Artists and president of the organization from Portugal. So now I'm just uh, inviting her to read her poem, Jake, uh, The Son of War. But before that, I want to say something in Bangla uh, to my view. Uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, uh, Haiti, Peru, Philippine, Bohu Putrika, Anturjati Putrika, Ebunta, Deshe Pokman, Putrika, Potrikotrika, Talaka Prokashitoche, Unigul Anthology in Nijisham Potana Kuratsen, Ebung Beskitsu Kovitar Boe, Lekhop Tine, our Anturjati Kabe Utini, Beskitsu Kovita Rutshobe, Bashai Tutshobe Jogdan Kuratsen. To Akun Amratar Kovita Shunbo, Jekovitina. To the son of the son of okay. Pois, fico sem energia. Could you could you, could you communicate with me because the connection may be the problem. Yes, I'm here. Okay, now can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Can I read my? Did you hear what I have said, Anna? Did you hear? Not everything before. <laughs> A moment ago. Not before. But now we can hear. Uh, uh, okay. I, Not I introduced her to our viewers. Mm. Now you can hear. Okay, just uh, uh, you continue, Anna, and Nunes will read. read her poem. <laughs> yeah, Nunes, you read your poem. Greetings to everyone. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Masudo Zaman and Anna Maria Stepiens for the invitation to participate in this festival. And now I, 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 I am reading my poem. Um, and as the other side of peace is war, I will read my poem, The Sun of War, because the mission of the poet is to alert through the world. I will now read my poem in bad English. I hope you understand. I, I wrote this poem at the beginning of the, the Ukraine war, when uh, a mother was giving birth to a baby under bombs. You know, mother, yesterday I heard you crying. I was scared, mom. I realized that your tears did not occur a good thing. Death hasn't struck my head in days, nor you sing, Nina Nana. I feel cold, Mama. I feel night. 
I can sleep. I hear continuous bystanders that shatter my soul, sirens that pierce my body, ballads that assassinate my future. I sink in the anxiety that floods your wound in convulsions. Your head seems to explode. Your body seems to expel me. I try to hold on the rope that coils around my foot. In a vein, it slips away. Mother, I'm afraid. Afraid of living in humanity. Afraid of dying and killing. Don't you love me anymore, mom? Thanks. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so it was a poem, something reverse, something um, contrary to peace about war. Yeah. Yes. You were inspired by the war in Ukraine. What happened there when you saw a yeah. mother giving birth to a child in such circumstances? And really beautiful Thanks. presentation. Maybe uh, now, what can we do now? Maybe Alvaro will read his poem and Masut later will. Present. Okay. Present. They go in the time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear me? Good? Yeah? Okay. And, uh, I'm so so grateful to, to Mr. Masood and Diana for this uh, kind invitation. My English is not good, but I think uh, it's perceptible for, for you. And uh, I read my peace poem. Uh, I write it uh, at, uh, a month ago and spoke about peace. With peace in our lives, there is a space and time for friendship, for love, and for poetry. Peace is the door to smiles, a window to freedom. Peace is the time to learn, to know, Peace is the space to end anger and war. Never have so many people said such a short word, peace. But peace cannot be just a beautiful word. It cannot be imposed. It must be wanted. Peace cannot be a dead letter, but a poem of life. The world needs a future. How can I see peace in the eyes of shield and orphan by war? How do I find peace in the hearts of the old abandoned people? How can I feel peace in the noises of a world that destroys itself? In the smiles of starving children, peace became orphan. In tears of sick old men, Peace sleeps on the burned floor. In a world destroyed by men, peace is murdered. I like it to make it rain love. I wanted to make bread. I need new men to be born. The world, the world needs peace. Children need to smile in freedom. The old man must weep away the tears of anger. Women and men must be able to love each other with no strings attached. The world needs a future. There is no future without peace. Thank you. Yes. I'm so grateful. For that invitation. Uh, well, uh, thank Hello, you Mr. very much. Hello, Mr. Masoud. It's not okay. It's not okay. Yeah. yeah, here I'm. I'm having the connection problem. Here, I'm sorry, my friends. 
uh, here I am having the connection problem, but it's okay now, I think. So thank you very much, Alvaro Mayo. And who, who will read the next poem, Anna? Maybe Veronica Valades and Gloriana Weber. Gloria. But Gloriana Weber is, is not connecting with me. And Veronica is also not in the screen. But she's Veronica, backstage. where are you? Are you hearing me? I can be backstage. <laughs> but Veronica, Veronica why you come and go? What happened? What but happened? What? Why you go backstage? But I think Veronica Valades. <laughs> okay, no problem. Seated there. And Gloriana. Mm -hmm. Okay, Veronica, you read, read your poem. Two Veronicas we have today. Okay, we can hear Veronica. Uh, Veronica from Philippines now. Oh, me, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I thought uh, because we have two Veronica, the one is Valdez. So first of all, thank you so much everyone for, uh, for the invitation. And I'm so glad to be here and knowing uh, all my sister and brothers in poetry so this is my first time in the show so let me let me introduce myself first i'm veronica pingo from philippines but i'm currently in hong kong this time so i am the uh, author of night butterfly so this is my book and also i am the founder of united poets at heart the international poetry uh, group in the pace book so my poem is about, uh, I usually wrote a short poem, and then this uh, poem I will read is uh, from my book. The title is Peace for the World. The world is peaceful the way how God created it. He wants only love and serenity. To the people, he ruled it by the way he does, but over time, it suddenly changed by us. More people fighting desperately. They forgot to understand each other. They became aggressive and uneducated. They forgot to consider to love each other. People died and suffered from war. Road mines became weak and wicked. And everything falls in just a fast plane. It breaks God, God's heart from seeing things like this. The land shower with endless tears, making the world becomes hopeless. Nobody can survive and live freely. All God wants is peace for everyone's heart. Let's hope the peace will reign. Just let the love and ourselves to bring back it. No hatred, no war, no violence. And us be the peace maker. Thank you so much. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Veronica. And uh, it is, it's already midnight there, I think. Yeah, <laughs> 12 p.m. Yeah, 12 p.m. So, yeah. That's, okay, so thank you very much. We'll see you again and uh, have a good time. Yeah, thank you I, so much. I will much. add other poets. So goodbye to you. Never mind. Thank you. Okay? Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Anna and Sir bye. Masood. Thank uh, you so, so much. Well, and now we'll have uh, the poets are just on the backstage. I'm seeing the with uh, Veronica from Mexico, and mm -hmm. I have connected her, and also Viber from uh, Slovenia. Hello. Yes. The next Hi, poet. Hi, how are you? Can you listen Fine. me? Who would be the next poet, Anna? Can you listen to me, please? No, you cannot keep the word. OK, just I'm, I'm, I'm inviting. Lydia, Lydia from Italy. Do you hear me? Okay, I'm ready. Hello. I'm ready to 
Okay, so before that, I want to introduce you to our viewers. So just a minute, just wait. I am uh, just uh, uh, introducing you to our viewers. And uh, Lydia, you have already heard that uh, she is uh, from Italy and uh, she's one of the chartered members of Imagine and Poesia, the art literary movement founded in Italy in 2007 with attorney, attorney Thomas, right? The name is Erowi attorney Thomas. Thomas. Erowi. Yeah, he founded uh, the movement. In fact, he is the founder of the movement, art literary movement. And she is the coordinator of Dylan Day in Italy and award-winning poetess since uh, 2011. Her writing has been published in more than 150 international poetry magazines and websites. So in fact, she's a poet uh, from Italy and uh, she is working uh, for the movement uh, of uh, enhancing for the different kind of poetry they think it could be there in Italy and they're working for it. So now she will read her poem, Words of Peace. Uh, please read your poem, Words of Peace. Lydia. Do you want me to read the poem or do you show the video? Uh, you read the poem because you are here. Okay. So we can just listen Words to of peace your poem from your voice. Is uh, my poem that uh, starts with a quote from uh, Lawrence Ferringhetti. The quote is, uh, I am uh, awaiting perpetually and forever the renaissance of wonder. The words of peace open like the petals of a flower, fragrant in the summer dawn, spread gently with the waves of the shimmering sea in the morning breeze. Erase the darkness of the night, illuminate the day, with sparkling colors. And uh, at last, the wonderful rebirth of a new world makes its way. A world that no longer knows the horrors of war. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you very much, Lydia. And we have heard your poem. And uh, uh, I think uh, the, the reader, uh, viewer, already conceived the poem. A kobititi namuche, a me to Bangla Buri up there, kobititi namuche, words of peace. Ebong, Lawrence Farlinget director kobita, Udzidi, the Shuru Kuratsen, Lydia Kobitati. I'm <coughs> awaiting. Perpetually for and forever, our resistance, our renaissance of wonder. I'm awaiting perpetually and forever, our renaissance of wonder. So, so in jeta bolte jachen je ek farlenge tit ko bitor rotu ta hoche je tini ek bhalo shomay jeno apne ko the words of peace open like the petals of a flower. Shantir shabdo guli jeno. Fuller papri motto. The cook chom to the Upuma, the Shurkurs in Kovitati, the Shanti Shopdo, Shanti Shampurkito, the Shopdulam Ruchan Kuri, Shay Shopduli Jano, Fuller papri motto, Tajano, Gonto Chorai, Shugonto Chorai, among Amra Tate, Bimuk Tohui. To Ibabi Kovitati Shurkurzen, a prolocur in the Kovita Nilman and Pepper Tiki Chomt Karje, to Tumi at Upuma the Chitrakal with the Shurkurzen. Among Ajigai Bolchen, it is the darkness on the Gurkitur Koredal, Ratri Sheshuejak, among Alu Futuk, Shokaler Alu Futuk, among 
তখন আমরা বহু বর্ণের পৃথিবীটাকে দেখতে পাব অর্থাৎ সূর্য উঠলে সকাল হলে বর্ণিল পৃথিবীটাকে আমরা দেখতে পাব আমাদের আবার জন্ম হবে পুনর্জন্ম হবে নতুন এক পৃথিবী আমরা পাব এবং এইভাবেই তিনি বলছেন শেষ দিকে যে এই যে যুদ্ধের ভয়াবহতা ভিত্তিকর অবস্থা তা যেন দূর হয়ে যায় এই পৃথিবী থেকে আমি আপনাদের আবার একটু স্মরণ করিয়ে দেই যে এই অনুষ্ঠানটি প্রচারিত হচ্ছে দি আর্চার পত্রিকা এবং অ্যাসোসিয়েশন অফ ওয়ার্ল্ড রাইটার্সের পক্ষ থেকে এবং এই কবিতাগুলি আসলে আমরা এই শান্তির কবিতাগুলি পাঠ করছি আন্তর্জাতিক আন্তর্জাতিক লেখক দিবস পালন উপলক্ষে আন্তর্জাতিক লেখক দিবসটা ছিল একত্রিশে ডিসেম্বর আমরা সেই সময় অনুষ্ঠানটা করতে পারিনি বিলম্বে আজকে করছি এবং গতকালও করেছি এবং সবাই কবিতা পড়ছেন শান্তির কবিতা তো এখন আমি এর পরে আমাদের দ্বিতীয় আরেকজন কবির কাছে যাব তিনি আরেকজন কবির কাছে যাব আমি দেখতে পাচ্ছি আমার মনে হয় আমি যাদের দেখতে পাচ্ছি তাদেরকে নিমন্ত্রণ করি যেমন আমি দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে স্ট্যাফলারকে স্ট্যাফলার ইফ ইউ লাইক ইউ ক্যান রিড ইউর পয়েম বাট বিফোর দ্যাট আই থিঙ্ক আই নিড টু ইন্ট্রোডিউস ইউ টু আওয়ার ভিউয়ার্স দ্য স্ট্যাফলার আসলে ইটালির কবি একটু আগে আপনার লিডিয়ার কবি শুনেছেন লিডিও ইটালির তো গার্লিন্ডে স্ট্যাফলার বর্ন ইন ইটালি অ্যাজ ইন এ অ্যাজ এ পয়েট Stapler, just wait. I'm introducing you to our viewers. I'm hearing some awkward sound. Please put off your... Please put off your microphone. I, I have no... Uh, wait, wait. Please unmute. Wait. Because I'm getting... Uh, Okay, Lydia, just you listen first, then you will just read your poem. I'm introducing you to our viewers. So, uh, sorry, Lydia, not Lydia, Staffler. The girl Linda Staffler, born in Italy, she is a poet, writer, translator, and a promoter of poetry and literary organizer. Professionally, she is a language teacher. She is skilled about uh, four languages, Italian, German, English, and Latin. She also studied psychology and educational science. And she devoted a poetic uh, experience uh, to her poetry and mostly they are uh, the philosophical poem. He works, uh, she works uh, for uh, different publishing houses and uh, magazines, anthologies, she has published uh, some anthologies and her poetry has been uh, published in many international and national poetry magazines. So, okay, let us listen to her poem, Peace Poem. And the title of her poem is also Peace. Peace is the title of her poem. So please, Ridia, unmute your microphone and read your poem. Thank you very much, Masoud. Thank you that I... Sorry, not Lydia Steffler. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> yes. Thank you very you much. Steffler, not Lydia. Okay. No. <laughs> Steffler, read your part. <laughs> okay. I will read now. Okay. Peace. When the sun rises in my soul, I sense the breath of eternity. Soft voices set my spirit free. Peace enters as hope, used to full kind dreams of me and you. Where heroic love is colorblind, the hearts are truly bound. Peace has no specific face, it's harm and virtue in every place. It's made of millions of smiles, conquering in faith thousands of miles. Peace in what we feel and we do, open up to our varied view. As long we are on the earth, our legacy will bring equal worth. 
This is my poem. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, and thank you very much, Staffler. And we have heard your wonderful poem. অনুধাবন করতে চাইছেন এবং তিনি আশাবাদী যে পৃথিবীতে শান্তি প্রতিষ্ঠিত হবে সেই রকম কিছু কথাই তিনি বলেছেন এই কবিতায় এবং তিনি বলছেন যে আমাদের পৃথিবীটা মিলিয়া মিলিয়ন মানুষের হাসিতে ভরে উঠুক এবং আমাদের পৃথিবীটা তো সেইভাবেই আসলে তৈরি আমরা যেন এটা অক্ষুণ্ণ রাখতে পারি এবং বলছেন অ্যাজ লং উই আর অন দি আর্থ আওয়ার লিগ্যাসি উইল ব্রিং ইকুয়েল ওয়ার্থ যতদিন ধরে আমরা এই পৃথিবীতে আছি আমরা বহন করছি আমাদের পূর্বপুরুষের পূর্বে যারা এসেছেন এই পৃথিবীতে তাদের উত্তরাধিকার এবং সেটা হচ্ছে যে আমরা যেন পৃথিবীতে সবাই সমভাবে মাসতে পারি সমভাবে থাকতে পারি আমাদের জীবন যাপন যেন সেরকম হয় তো আপনারা শুনছেন এই কবিদের আন্তর্জাতিক কবিদের কবিতা এবার আমি আহ্বান জানাবো আমাদের একজন অত্যন্ত আমি বাংলায় বলছি পরে ইংরেজিতে ওদের সঙ্গে কমিউনিকেট করবো সেটা হচ্ছে যে এবার আমি আহ্বান জানাবো আর্জেন্টিনার একজন অত্যন্ত খ্যাতিমান কবি অগুস্তিকে রুফিনো তিনি মানে আর্জেন্টিনার যে কয়েকজন কবি এই মুহূর্তে খ্যাতিমান তাদের একজন বেশ সক্রিয় কবিতায় এবং আমি তার আমি তার মানে সংক্ষিপ্ত পরিচিতিটা বলছি আপনাদের সেটা পড়লেই বুঝতে পারবেন যে তিনি কতটা সক্রিয় একজন কবি আর সবচেয়ে বড় ব্যাপার হচ্ছে যে আর্জেন্টিনা তো এমনিতেই কবিতার জন্য খ্যাতিমান আমরা বহু অনেক খ্যাতিমান কবিকে কিন্তু আর্জেন্টিনা থেকে পেয়েছি এবং সেই জন্য তাদের কবিতার যে উত্তরাধিকার সেটাও খুব সমৃদ্ধ তো আমি এবার আমাদের অন্য দর্শকদের জন্য ইংরেজিতে বলি অগস্ট এন্ড্রুকে রুফিনো ওয়াজ বর্ন ইন সান রেমন দে লা নুয়েভা আর্জেন্টিনা হি is uh, the delegate of the world poetry movement in Argentina and consul of the world poets movement and coordinator of the group La Bohemia Cultural of Oran. Since his adolescence, he has been writing, in fact, poetry and is involved with the cultural activities. At the moment, he uh, is now just Uh, working uh, for the festival, uh, one festival he organizes in Argentina uh, and also uh, involved with many organizations in Argentina and also uh, from abroad. So now I'm, uh, and he, he has traveled frequently, uh, he, he travels in different countries and He attends cultural uh, festivals or literary festivals. So uh, now I am uh, just uh, inviting him to read his poem, uh, Aboriginal Mother. The title of his poem is Aboriginal Mother. Rufino, I am inviting you to read your poem. Please read your poem. Good morning, the poets. A uh, pleasure to share the with or with you. Eh, yo hablo español. Eh, les agradezco la invitación. Eh, Masud y Anta, eh, realmente es un placer compartir la palabra escrita con ustedes. Eh, elegí una poesía dedicada a las madres de los pueblos originarios de América eh, como símbolo ¿no? de, de la mujer originaria eh, y esta poesía, eh, si bien es cierto, no se refiere exactamente a la paz pero un poco a través de ella ¿no? se aboga por la paz en América eh, Madre aborigen dice así Madre sacrificio, madre silencio 
tu piel enjuta de ébano viste el quebracho de tu cuerpo, innata poseedora de la magia de convertir frutos de la Pachamama en el arte que lucirán otras mujeres de espacios lejanos, inalcanzables. Sabrán que tus yicas encierran sueños ancestrales de libertad. Sabrán que la humildad del adobe y palo a pique palpita tu calor de madre. Sabrán que te vendieron tantas veces junto a tu tierra sin preguntártelo y que sigues sobreviviendo a todo en la bella soledad de las yungas, en el dolor mutilado de la selva, en un cálido rincón de América India. Esta poesía está incluida eh, en este libro, Letteré con Leali, que fue recientemente publicado en Italia, eh, cuenta con el prólogo del poeta amigo Emilio Coco, y también la traducción la hizo eh, Emilio Coco. Eh, y para cerrar, él quería recitar una poesía muy cortita, que su título es de abastación, eh, un poco eh, refleja el dolor que tenemos acá en esta zona sur de América, eh, más precisamente de Argentina, por la devastación que va arrasando con toda la, la vegetación originaria y provocando los daños ¿no? que nos causa este, la, la, ese, ese daño. Duele la naturaleza mutilada, esqueletos vencidos por el hombre, fantasmas de un verde antiguo. Duele los dientes del progreso, el hacha devorando montes, la vida y su destino de medanales. ¿Dónde están las aves que alegraban la arboleda con su amanecido trino? ¿Dónde se esconde el puma? ¿Dónde el jabalí, la corzuela? ¿Qué rincón extingue su tristeza? Duele el indio despojado, astilla de su raza vieja, solo con su cruz de palo. Duele la devastación, duele. Thank you very much, un abrazo cordial a todos. Es realmente muy linda las poesías que estamos escuchando. We can't hear. Uh, Muchas gracias, Rufino. Can I say something? Okay. Uh, yeah, I said <laughs> that. Muchas gracias, Rufino. Yes, no, un placer. Gracias. El placer es mío. Muchas gracias. Argentina campeón okay. del mundo. Uh, okay, well, the, you have heard uh, his poem, uh, Rufino's poem, in Spanish, of course, and uh, uh, he read his poem in Spanish, but I have the English translation with me, um, so I can read a little of, uh, of this poem, little part, uh, some part, some parts of his poem I can read. The first you see that the name of the poem, uh, the title is Aboriginal Mother. And uh, he starts the poem like this. Mother sacrifice, mother silence, mother sacrifices, mother silences. Your lean, ebony skin dresses the cubracho of your body. So this is the beginning of his poem. And uh, we got an image of a mother, and uh, he's elaborating the poem uh, in this way and saying that it is beautiful, the solitude, and also uh, the worm uh, Indian America is uh, also a worm place. And this is the place where the peace we can have. So, প্রিয় দর্শক আপনার শুনলেন যে কবিতাটি আসলে ও পড়েছে স্প্যানিশ ভাষায় আমরা অনেকেই যারা বাঙালি তারা বুঝিনি কিন্তু একটা জিনিস বুঝেছি যে কবিতার যে রিদম বা ছন্দ স্পন্দ সেটা কিন্তু খুব চমৎকার ভাবে আমি অন্তত অনুভব করেছি আর কবিতাটি সম্পর্কে একটু বলি কবিতাটি মাকে কেন্দ্র করে শান্তির ভাবনাটা এই কবিতায় ফুটিয়ে তুলেছেন রুফিনো 
রুফিনো যে যা বলতে চেয়েছেন সেটা হচ্ছে যে মাতৃভূমি এবং মা একীভূত হয়ে গেছে তার কবিতা এবং একই সঙ্গে সঙ্গে এই মাতৃভূমি হচ্ছে লাতিন আমেরিকার মাতৃভূমি যেখানে তিনি মনে করেন যে শান্তি প্রতিষ্ঠিত হবে মায়ের কোলে থাকলেই মাতৃভূমিতে থাকলে মাতৃভূমি আমাদের সমস্ত শান্তির উৎস তো আমি এরপরে যেতে চাই বেরোনিকার কাছে বেরোনিকা ইজ অলসো ফ্রম মেক্সিকো বেরোনিকা Perdón, Rufino, pero es que tengo problemas con mi batería y no, puedo, no podía apoyarte, pero... Sorry, but I have a, 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 a problems with the battery and um, I will to try to talk with you um, uh, because I have problems with the internet. But uh, I hope you can listen to me. Good morning okay, from... You one... read your poem. You, if, you, if you, you can read your poem quickly. See, yes, because thank you. you thank you. Problem. Yeah. Thank you very thank much. You. Good, good morning from Guanajuato, Mexico. It's a pleasure to greet you and join this great cultural event that you need us. If any, thanks for the invitation to participate. And since I really hope you enjoy my poetry that seeks to raise is awareness of uh, importance and of the of doing sorry um, don't you still uh, generate peace throughout the world the name of poetry is justice in the world we live blind to a tree justice and that give us peace and equity in the world that is a no a chimera we are talking lives consecting to of birth and violence and every step. We live in the jungle of the strongest, the one who worthily takes away that does not belong to him. Justice, we ask for world peace. Justice for the poorest and for the dying. In this infamous world, we must transform chaos into a new opportunity to love. Justice for the poor, the disabled, the unprotected. Justice for the men and the women who have been forgotten. Justice for the world which dies in a decadent tomorrow. Justice for those who are silent and for those who have been sentenced to death. Let's remove the blindfold now. Let's shed light on this course. Let the uncertainty become true and trusted with force to improve the future. Justice, justice, let the cry be heard. Let the beating silence because humanity suffers. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for my English is not so good. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's okay. We, ha we have heard your poem and uh, in, uh, your English is good. Uh, I understood that what you have said, no problem. শান্তির জন্য এই কথাটা বলছেন এই কবি এবং মেক্সিকোর কবি তিনি মেক্সিকো থেকে আমাদের সঙ্গে যুক্ত হয়েছেন ভেরোনিকা ভালাদেস এবং তিনি চমৎকার পড়লেন যদিও বললেন যে তার ইংরেজি খুব ভালো নয় তবে আমি যতদূর বুঝেছি অন্তত আমার বুঝতে সমস্যা হয় নাই একটু তো উচ্চারণগত সমস্যা থাকেই সেগুলো আমাদেরও আছে ও পৃথিবীর অন্য দেশের মানুষ যারা যাদের মাতৃভাষা ইংরেজি নয় তাদের হয় তিনি মূলত ভেরোনিকা মূলত স্প্যানিশ ভাষা কবি কিন্তু তিনি যে কবিতাটি পড়লেন সেটা ইংরেজি অনুদিত কবিতা ইংরেজিতে অনুদিত কবিতা তার কবিতা স্প্যানিশ থেকে ইংরেজিতে অনুদিত এবং এই কবিতার ভেতর দিয়ে তিনি যেটা বলতে চেয়েছেন যে ন্যায় বিচার প্রতিষ্ঠিত হওয়াটাই হলো গুরুত্বপূর্ণ এবং ন্যায় বিচার যদি প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয় তাহলেই কিন্তু পৃথিবীতে শান্তি স্থাপিত হবে তিনি বলছেন একটা লাইনে আমি বলি জাস্টিস উই আস্ক ফর ওয়ার্ল্ড পিস জাস্টিস ফর দি ফোরেস্ট অ্যান্ড ফর দি ডাইং অর্থাৎ ন্যায় বিচার হচ্ছে আমরা চাই শান্তির জন্যে সারা পৃথিবীতে এবং ন্যায় বিচারের মধ্য দিয়ে যারা দরিদ্র এবং যারা মৃত্যুর মুখে চলে গেছে বা মৃত্যুর মুখ তারা তাদের জন্য আমাদের এই 
মানে শান্তি স্থাপন করা দরকার দরিদ্রদের জন্য অথবা যারা মরণোন্মুখ তাদের জন্য শান্তি স্থাপন করা দরকার এবং তারপরে তিনি বলছেন যে আমরা কিন্তু আমাদের এই যে যুদ্ধ যুদ্ধংদেহি মনোভাব সেটাকে কিন্তু ভালোবাসায় রূপান্তরিত করতে পারি এবং সেটাই হবে আমাদের জন্য একটা বড় সুযোগ সেই কথাটা তিনি বলছেন যে ইন দিস ইন ফেমাস ওয়ার্ল্ড উই মাস্ট ট্রান্সফর্ম ক্যাওয়াস ইন টু এ নিউ অপরচুনিটি টু লাভ তো ক্যাওয়াস শি ওয়ান্টস দ্যাট উই ক্যান ট্রান্সফর্ম ইন টু লাভ সো দ্যাট ইজ রিয়েলি গুড অ্যান্ড খুবই ভালো একটি কবিতা যে যেখানে নৈরাজ্য চলছে যুদ্ধ চলছে যুদ্ধের হানাহানি চলছে সেখানে তিনি বলছেন যে আমরা সুযোগ নিতে পারি এই যুদ্ধ বন্ধ করে যুদ্ধের পরিবর্তে আমরা প্রেমের কথা বলতে পারি ভালোবাসার কথা বলতে পারি এবং সবশেষে যেটা বলছেন যে আমরা যদি শান্তি স্থাপিত না করতে পারি আমরা যদি ন্যায় বিচার প্রতিষ্ঠিত করতে না পারি তাহলে হিউম্যানিটি মানবতা ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হবে তিনি বলছেন হিউম্যানিটি সাফার্স হিউম্যানিটি মানে ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হবে এবং হিউম্যানিটি ভুগবে তার শঙ্কা তা হিউম্যানিটি বা মানবতা নিয়ে শঙ্কা দেখা দেবে এরকম একটি কথা বলছেন তো আসলে আপনারা দেখুন যে প্রতিটি কবি প্রত্যেক কবি কিন্তু তার তাদের নিজেদের ভেতর থেকেই যে কথাগুলি আমাদের কাছে সঞ্চারিত করতে চাচ্ছেন যে কথাগুলি বলতে চাচ্ছেন সেটা হচ্ছে শান্তির জন্য তারা প্রত্যেকেই কিন্তু উন্মুখ এবং এই অনুষ্ঠানটিও আমরা যে আয়োজন করেছি এই কবিদের কণ্ঠস্বর যেন সারা পৃথিবীতে ছড়িয়ে যায় এবং এই কণ্ঠস্বর যেন যারা শাসক যারা যুদ্ধ করছে যে যুদ্ধবাজ শাসক তারা যেন কিছুটা হলেও বুঝতে পারে যে সারা পৃথিবীতে শান্তির পক্ষেই মানুষের সংখ্যা বেশি তো নাও আই এম জাস্ট গোয়িং টু আওয়ার নেক্সট পোয়েট অ্যান্ড টু হোম আই ক্যান রাইট Gloria uh, I, I'm uh, she's uh, just back stays for a long time so no problem I need to I can be backstage um, Yes I need to invite and I need to say you someone uh, to say I need to say goodbye So Lydia oh, yeah. I can say you goodbye and Alicia I can say you goodbye and good night See you next time oh, Okay <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll see you soon. You, And then I will uh, I will just connect uh Gloriana but Glorian is uh, for a long time she is on backstage. So Alicia goodbye, good night to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And Lydia uh, also uh, left the conversation, the poetry session, but uh, Grison, you can uh, stay for some time uh, because we have some space and I can add Noel Lawrence, uh, but I'm not seeing Noel Lawrence. Are you there? If you are there, please. Yes, I'm there. Hello. Yeah. And uh, Gloriana. At last, Gloriana. <laughs> no, Gloriana is on the backstage. Hello, I'm here. She cannot show herself because of broken vision. <laughs> broken vision? Camera. <laughs> broken camera. I yes, see. but I'm here. But I'm okay, here. Okay, <laughs> you are there, but yes. your camera is broken. Okay. Yes. No problem. So you read first. I we can listen to your poem only. No problem. Okay. Uh okay. and uh, Gloriana, you know that yes. you are a so beautiful woman, but we cannot see you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you read your poem. Um well, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for the invitation. and also uh, for my visit of Bangladesh uh, four years ago and the book that we published there with um, you, uh, Mas Masadu Zaman, and um, it was a really great experience um, 
for me to to know um, so much people and um, your attitude towards poetry. This was something really extraordinary for me. Um, and this poem that I will read has a title um, Through Peace. I can always return back to stone, stand up and fall to the stone with all the stones that I have and forget about the stone and pick up just one more stone. The stones still invite me. I know no more which ones. I tried to belong to them, find the right shape of the stone, in the right stone, in many ways of the stone, hollow carving, crack and dust scattered into the quiet stone within people, the walk through his silence inverted sand and a footstep worn out within water slips like a motive of the sea ready to outwit, outwit the horizon it won't fall the abyss came to a standstill they lit petrified and mountain sweetly hammered on the edge. Above the earth, the sky gathers stars into divine line. There are no cities and no crowds up there. Existence is not labeled. What remains are mere impulses. I walk and sing. Behind, I leave a trial here is the prayer and signals from the far side of the world change blooming fields into the maps of nations. The wind caresses them and new generations of seeds plows its way through stones. So it's uh, completed. Uh, complete. You have completed, right? The poem yes, you read. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Gloria Weaver, in fact, visited Bangladesh in 2000. So far, I remember 2000. When he 19. visited. 19. 2000, yes. Yes. 2019. Uh, she visited Bangladesh. Yes. And I, on behalf of Pirundaj magazine published her poem, a book, and it is in my hand now. And here is she. Bridging Itishina. Yes. Yes, in Proximity of Silence, it was... Yeah, it Proximity is, of Silence. The name of the book is Proximity of Silence. And uh, it has been published from uh, Louisiana, right? Yes. Uh, uh, it has been published from Slovenia. Yes, but yes, yes. it is a bilingual, yes, bilingual, yes. bilingual uh, po poetry book. Yes, Here, in, in Slovene language and in uh, your language, um, Ratia Sultana translated it, and yes, uh, Masa Zaman, they both made really um, great, um, big work. We worked a lot about the poems and how to translate it. And um, it was a big experience for me because Slovenia and Bangladesh, they are really completely different countries, but um, we just realized how poetry combined these two different cultures. And um, as I mentioned, when I was in Bangladesh, um, I just realized, well, this is my opinion, how cold is west 
you know, how this coolness between people. But, you know, when I was in Bangladesh, you know, um, I have never, uh, I, I didn't see anyone who would wear a mask on the face, you know, and um, there were, I was on that book fair and people wanted to write me letters on, 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 on the skin. People were standing in lines to, to buy a book. Uh, this attitude towards poetry, I, I was uh, performing poetry um, all around in different festivals, but uh, in Bangladesh, I found something unique and I was uh, disappointed about myself because before I, I went there, I was thinking, well, I'm going to really poor country. What is there happening with the books? And, you know, you, you, everyone has that kind of questions. And um, uh, I really couldn't believe, you know, how big importance has a poetry for your country and how many sacrifices was needed for your language. And um, this is, of course, connected um, with peace. Um, but how I see the peace, um, perhaps my vision of peace is a little bit more sad because, you know, that sentence, the, the night, uh, the darkness is needed that we see a light, you know. So um, that is sad because then we can say we need a war, but we don't need a war. But perhaps we would just need to hug the war, to hug every, all bad things and to say it's okay, it's okay with the past, let's go, let's go further. Perhaps, I don't know. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Gloriana visited Bangladesh in, 19, in 2019 and she came here and she visited the longest book fair of the world, which we have the longest in terms of days. In terms of days, we have a book fair of 28 days. Longest in the world. Longest yes, book fair in terms of days. And she yes. visited that book fair and, and uh, she became very friendly to us. And before that, she, when she wanted to come, she was thinking that how it would be if he, she comes to Bangladesh. She was not, uh, in fact, a little worried uh, about us, the how she could be here and how she would be treated by us. She was worried. But when she came, she became very friendly to us. And not only to us, we were very friendly to her. And she visited frequently around Dhaka around our capital. She visited the book fair every day and she met a lot of people, huge people. They came to her and wanted to know her and uh, she just communicated with them like friends. Really, it was amazing for us. She visited our uh, one monument, one monument uh, for the language movement. We uh, erected the monument. We have the monument for the language movement martyrs. And she visited there. And this book has been published from Slovenia. And of course, she did a lot of things, but the translation is there. Bangla translation is there. And uh, Rajya Sultana uh, from America, she lives in America. She's a poet and very good poet. She translated her poems from English, of course. And I edited the whole book. And it's a wonderful book. Because uh, not only the, for the translation, but the work, artwork inside is really amazing. You can just see it. And the back, you can see the, the tiger. Tiger is the symbol of Bangladesh. In fact, we, we, mm -hmm. it is our national symbol. So uh, she, she enjoyed. Uh, did you enjoy? Of yes, course, of you course. Will recall. Yo, I don't know this. Uh, um... I, I just would like to say one more thing. Uh, um, I will never forget um, when we were standing in front of the stage on, near book fair, and there were a yes. lot of a lot of people there, and they were all putting flowers on the on the floor and crying. They were just all crying, 
and the energy you know i i first i didn't know why they are crying because uh, at that time um i needed someone to explain to me and i just started to cry i didn't know why i'm crying but i i started to cry and as i mentioned you know this attitude towards poetry towards writing it's it's uh, it's something extraordinary about bangladesh and i must confess that till i came to dhaka to bangladesh i didn't know that this um international um international day of mother language um uh, that we celebrate worldwide um was um uh, came from came from your country came from dhaka um uh, and i didn't know and they, we didn't know in slovenia i was trying to find articles about that but there were no articles and then when i came back we did a lot of events in slovenia um with uh, with these photos and videos from um bangladesh um um also um ambassador came from uh, austria and um yes i i was i was happy because we established one connection between two countries yes uh, and we were uh, in fact uh, i'm i'm and we are waiting for you again if you visit it will be really it will be wonderful for us to meet you again if you come to dhaka I hope I that <laughs> maybe this year may not be, but maybe next year you can visit again. Next year, because yes, we just year. loved you very much as a poet and as a friend. Uh, so, uh, in fact, you know that I want to tell other poets uh, here; those are just uh, attending. Uh, we have in the uh, we have the international day. You know that twenty first February is the international Mother Day. and it has been declared by the unesco unesco yes, uno yes, they yes. declared 21st february is the world international mother day uh, international mother day is language 21st day. february yeah. and on on that day yeah that is the language day of bangladesh many people died in 1952 on that day mm -hmm. 21st february a uh, five or seven students and uh, public uh, people died on that day and after then the unesco declared it as the mother language day yes so it's okay mm, thank you very much viver yeah for thank you. your experience you have shared with us and thank you uh, and i hope so that you will come again and again with us and you will be connecting I with will. us I will. so now i'm going to uh, to our next poet I think everyone noel is there noel are you ready yes, elena i'm not uh, having elena on the screen but uh, noel would read elena's poem in uh, english yes absolutely hello everyone very good evening okay. from the but i want to see joy. elena elena is there are you there yes she is here Noel Yes Okay would you please introduce Noel to uh, Noel introduce Elena to us first then you read her poem Yes absolutely I'm going to read Elena's poem Elena is from Germany and I have translated her German poem from Germany to English and I live in India So the title of the poem is Mom But she is from Ukraine living in Germany <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mom. Oh, yeah. That's the that's the point. Yeah. Uh, that means uh, she she is from Ukraine, but at the moment she is living in Germany. Okay, that's good. Yes. That's great. Yes. Now, okay, you read. So the title no, of the poem. Yes, I'm going to read it. The title of the poem is Mom. Mom, mommy, hold it stronger. Ocean spilled. The pain spilled by the ocean. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Mom, mommy, hold it stronger. Oh, how loud is the siren in the night? Oh, how scary. So much the kids are gone. Yes, how painful. When how suddenly collapsed. When he stood a hundred years. 
when there was a family there, it was not. How many books and paintings are burned? The world is faded. Now you can see the bottom. How many cats, dogs are alone now? How scared and hungry they are in the night. Mom, mommy, hold it stronger. I can't hear the howls in the night. I can't see the explosions here. Mom, how did it happen? How terrible. In a cluster of evil lifetimes, who needs such a victory? Mom, mommy, now you are alone. Our soldier is on the front line. How scary to lose your loved ones. Not returning home. Victory is going on in the spring. Cherry blooms, juices flowing through a stream and streams from the blood stumbled. Victory will not be born on a tree. Mom, mommy, hold it stronger. Take my pain, save me. After all, you need to go to school and on the rink. I know that victory will come to us. I believe, after all, our freedom is everything. For the victory, the mortal battle is still going on. A poem by Elena Anandieva. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, you. Uh, Noel, for your wonderful reading and the wonderful translation. I have tried to uh, do justice with my translation. I am not that good at it, but I have tried my best. I hope you okay. all have liked it. Uh, thank you very much. Is it is it written in German uh, uh, and translated into English? Or is it yes. written in Ukrainian language, then translated no, into from English? from German to English. From German to English. German to English, then you translate yes. it uh, from yes. uh, English. From German to English, I have translated it. Okay, from German to English, you translate it. But originally, the poem, uh, I want to know that, is it written in, in Ukrainian language? So maybe Elena can help us because I have uh, translated it from Germany. From German. Yeah, I understood, so from German. Uh, you have translated from German, but uh, mm, I could just thinking that it may be uh, written in, in Ukrainian language. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Elena can maybe. Uh, put some, uh, throw some light on that. <laughs> okay. So, so we got one poet from, from Ukraine, in fact. She's originally yeah. from Ukraine, but now living in Germany. Uh, so it's wonderful. Uh, I want to show my uh, gratitude to her. Uh, Ukraine is now uh, with uh, involved with the war. They are now in war with Russia. And uh, they need the peace now yes. at the moment. They are dire for peace. They need it very much because they are in war, involved with Russia. The aggression of Russia is really uh, harming them. The whole community, the Ukrainians, they're suffering for this war. So thank you very much, Elena. We got you. Thank you very much. And thank you, you showed your much. book, in fact. Yeah. Can you Until show the your book? Until yeah, the guinea. Yeah. Und hier alles hier unsere Name auch hier. Pokerel. So, hier zu viel. Jetzt zweite wird. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, James Tian. Yeah. <laughs> Und das. Später okay, ist es auch gar nicht auf Deutsch jetzt, wenn das meine Englisch ich habe, aber das ist ein bisschen aufgeregt zu viel und auf Deutsch zu mir einfacher, auf Ukrainisch, auf Russisch auch, genau. Und jetzt mit der Gesicht und vielen Dank für Lorenz. Masut Yuzman und uh, Anna-Maria Stepien, ja, das ist sehr, sehr nett, sehr gut, sehr schön und Nova und zu Peace und zu Frieden und uh, na, nasche Strana, Ukraine, Ukraine, das ist Peace und Ukraine, normale Leute, normale, keine Faschismus, keine, keine solche Leute dort, ich konnte nicht sagen, ich konnte nicht jetzt sprechen, wenn das ist meine... No, Kaputt people, ist meine no, Tochter auch dort und meine äh, alle Freunde, alle großen Namen in Kultur und Peace Worker und alles kämpfen und kämpfen und kämpfen jeden Tag und Nacht und 
immer so. Und das wird, obwohl Glauben, das kommt weiter, Sonne und ohne Sonne konnte nicht leben. Und nächste, nächste Buch, nächste Anthologie wird mit äh, alle von euch und können sie auch senden uns und können sie auch präsentieren hier. Und das ist sehr gute äh, Möglichkeit auch machen so. Vielen herzlichen Dank und äh, bis dann, bis äh, alles Gute. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm glad to see you there. Welcome to you. And Apna uh, Rashulen, ekta prachondo abeg ni kotha bollen kintu Elena. Elena Ukraine er kobi kintu thaken achen ei muhurte Germany te. Ebong Germany te achen bolei tini kintu shostite achen jodi Ukraine thakten ami nishondhe bolte pari je juddher moddhe তিনি থাক তাকে থাকতে হতো এবং অমানুষিক একটা যুদ্ধের মানে জন্য তারা কিন্তু এখন খুব ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হচ্ছে ইউক্রেনীয়রা একটা বলতে পারি যে তারা এই মুহূর্তে তাদের জীবন রক্ষার জন্য লড়ছে তারা বেঁচে থাকার জন্য লড়ছে এবং এই যুদ্ধের ভয়াবহতা সবচেয়ে বেশি কিন্তু তাদের তাদেরই কিন্তু মুখোমুখি হতে হচ্ছে এই যুদ্ধের ভয়াবহতা ভয়াবহতা দ্বারা তারা আক্রান্ত হচ্ছে তো আমি আজকে ইউক্রেনের এই কবিকে পেয়ে এলেনাকে পেয়ে আমি সত্যি খুব খুশি এই কারণে অন্তত কিছু কথা তার কাছ থেকে শোনা গেল তার কবিতা শোনা গেল এবং নোয়েল লরেঞ্জ তিনি তার কবিতা ইংরে জার্মান থেকে ইংরেজিতে অনুবাদ করে আমাদের শোনালেন আমি এটার আশা করি যে আমি ভবিষ্যতেও তার কবিতাটা আমি বাংলায় ট্রান্সলেট করব সো আই এম জাস্ট রিকোয়েস্টিং নোয়েল স্যার প্লিজ সেন্ড মি দ্য পোয়েম অ্যান্ড আই উইল ট্রান্সলেট ইট ইন টু বাংলা Sure, I will. Because our readers, our viewers, they, they now want to know about the Ukrainian poets. They want to read sure. their poems. Oh. So if you send me the poem, or maybe more, then I will translate them into Mangla. All right. Our and how, uh, where, where should uh, I send Anna, it to you? Would you like to say anything? I have this poem. <laughs> but yeah, I got it tonight, but I have it. Okay. So, so, yes, okay, I, I need more poems if uh, she sends in English. then I can also translate it, 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 them into Bangla. All right. And uh, sir, okay, I must... Thank you I very must, much. Uh, I, I'm just... Oh. Because of the weak battery, okay. he must. Okay. Uh, Noel left the... Maybe battery gun. Yes, uh, they, they're yes. suffering for the lack of battery. Yes. No, okay, sir, I, I want to say that uh, you are hosting really well. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Noel. And I hope that I will get you next time uh, with us. Sure. Uh, so, Absolutely. dear viewers, now we need to conclude the session. And uh, by a few minutes uh, or maybe a few seconds, I'm going to conclude the session. And I'm very much grateful to the poets who has been just uh, connected with me. And uh, from Portugal, I'm still uh, seeing the, the Nunes is there. and also Staffler from Italy and Lauren uh, Grissom and also from uh, France and, um, and other poets who just have been connected with me. I want, I'm very much, I'm profoundly grateful to them. They came to my program, they read their poems and I, we enjoyed. Particularly, we raised our voice for peace. That is important. And I hope so that in future we'll have a good, yeah. peaceful world. So good night to you all. Thank you very much again. Bye. Thank you.